Welcome to Genius Adventurer's Mind Channel. I bet you didn't know about the recent arrests of 36 FDC members in Kenya. We're diving into the recent arrests of 36 members of Uganda's opposition party, the FDC, who were seized in Kenya. Let's break down what happened, why it matters, and what this means for human rights in the region. So here's the story. Ugandan authorities arrested 36 FDC members in Kisumu, Kenya, accusing them of terrorism. Yes, you heard that right, terrorism. These individuals were reportedly attending a seminar, but the Uganda government claims they were in Kenya for terrorism training. Lawyer Arias Lukwago and former presidential candidate Kiza Besigye have strongly refuted these charges. They argue that this is just a tactic to detain these individuals without bail. Kisumu County Governor Preferent Peter Anyang was quick to condemn the arrests and he questioned why the Kenyan police were involved. This isn't just a local issue. It has sparked protests in Uganda with FDC supporters demanding President Museveni's resignation. Human rights groups are up in arms, accusing the Ugandan government of violently suppressing opposition and protests. But the story doesn't end there. Governor Anyang has called for an investigation into the arrests and wants answers from the Kenyan police. Critics believe these arrests are politically motivated, a way to silence dissent. The Ugandan government, of course, maintains that these actions are justified on the grounds of national security. The international community is closely watching Uganda scene. There's growing concern about the shrinking democratic space and increasing intolerance of dissent. This isn't just about 36 arrests, it's about the future of democracy and human rights in Uganda. Things escalated when Kira Municipality MP Ibrahim Samuju Nganda debated Attorney General Kiriowa Kiwanuka. Samuju argued that these FDC members were in Kenya for leadership training, not terrorism. He also claimed they faced torture upon their return to Uganda. This sparked even more controversy. Deputy Speaker Thomas Tayabwa raised concerns about the legality of these arrests and detentions. Attorney General Kiwanuka defended the government's actions, denying any mistreatment and suggesting legal channels are available for complaints. Samuju didn't hold back, comparing the current situation to the oppressive regime of IDI Amin. That's a serious accusation and it has only added fuel to the fire. Dr. Kiza Basiji, the FDC's founding president, also condemned the arrests, calling them baseless and a blatant abuse of the judicial system. So what does all this mean? This isn't just a regional issue, it's a global one, though. The fight for human rights and democratic freedoms is ongoing and the world is watching Uganda closely. Will justice prevail or will this be another case of political suppression? Only time will tell. That's it for today's video. If you found this information valuable, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching and stay informed.